Okay, so now we need our logo for Yellowstone. And what I've done is I've opened um, Photoshop and I've taken the text tool, uh, which is, where is the text tool? The T. And I've given color black and I've typed out Yellowstone. And now I'm going to highlight the word Yellowstone. Let's make it a little bit bigger so you can see this. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select in my fonts and select the font here and click in here so that this is highlighted and now you can scroll through all your fonts to pick the one that's going to fit best for your um, particular piece. So I'm looking for a font that's going to go well with uh, the word Yellowstone. So maybe a Western font or something that has a slightly Western look to it, but maybe not too Western. Um, something that would look good, maybe even a little classy, maybe I want some handwriting, right, informal look. Some things you know just won't work because they just don't go with it stylistically. You know, maybe the handwriting, maybe that would look good. So I'll take a peek at this and highlight it. Um, Okay, and now if I wanted to, I could do some treatments to it. I could add some effects if I wanted to. I could highlight it, layer, layer style. I could add a, a bevel to it or a stroke to it or all kinds of stuff if I wanted to. But in this case, I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm going to delete my background layer. So now I just have... Um, uh, transparency. I'm going to grab my crop tool and crop around it. Okay, and then hit enter to crop it. And I'm going to pick a different color. So I'll highlight the text and pick a different color. Okay, I'm not sure how that's going to look, but we'll give it a try. I'm going to do a layer uh, type. Let's see here, layer, layer style, drop shadow to it. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, and now maybe I could save it as logo. I could also put a... Um, a torn piece of paper behind it, something like that. Um, all kinds of stuff I could do, but if I wanted to save it as it is right now, I'd just say File, um, whoops, File, Save As, Desktop, and save it as a Photoshop document, Logo, and now I can open that up and bring it in with Photoshop. So with Photoshop, Let's try this out. File, import, import to library. Or let's do it this way. We'll make a new layer for our logo. New layer. And I'll even type on it logo. This last one, this layer was paper, so I'll double click on that. Change the name of that to paper. Okay, so we're building up our layers here. So now on this logo layer, I'm going to make a, a keyframe right about here. That's where I want it to come in. F6 to put a keyframe right there. And File, Import to Stage. And we're looking for Logo. There it is, PSD. Select this layer here and then say, yes, we want to import it as editable text. Right? Um, and, uh, yeah, that sounds good. Lossless sounds fine. Or no, lossy is okay, I guess and click OK. All right, and there it is. And I think we lost our um, drop shadow, but that's OK. So now I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here. See, there's our logo. And I'm going to double click on it and quickly change the color to maybe white. And then maybe I can make it a little bit bigger, too. 
if I wanted to, select it, go to filters, and I can also put a glow on it or a bevel. Bevel does not look good. Try a um, drop shadow. Drop shadow looks pretty good. I don't know if the color is working. All right. Maybe a little bit bigger. Okay. So there it is. It came in on its own layer, so I lost the logo layer. So what I'll do is I'll just drag this over and drop it down into the logo spot and then delete this layer. There we go. So now the paper zooms in and then here's your logo. Now with this logo we can also animate it. We're running out of keyframes here, but we can animate it nonetheless. And we can start with it off stage. And we can animate it with a rotation like they do if they if you want. Um, just put a keyframe here, F6, and drag it into place. So on this keyframe it's off stage, this keyframe it's on stage. You go to the first keyframe and you put a motion tween. Okay. And if you want, you can take a look at it, scrub it, you'll see that it animates into place. You can also click on that first keyframe and set some rotation, set it to clockwise one time, and now you'll see that it actually animates into place. All right, and what I might do is move it over a little bit more so it makes a big a big twist as it moves into place. The other thing you can do is you could scale it and hopefully it will also animate size. And what I might do is select it with the move tool and start it off here. So it starts here, and then it animates up to here. Okay, fantastic. So now you have the pieces animating, and I'm going to point one thing out to you here. You're going to need more frames to see your animation. Open up your background layer. And what I'm going to do is, so I can see this a little bit better, I'm going to go out here. I'm going to select the whole thing all the way down to the bottom and I'm going to hit F5 on the keyboard and that'll add extra frames. And now I can see my animation a lot better when I cont when control enter and pr play my movie. So the character pops up, paper comes out, and the word animates in. If you want to slow anything down, what you do is, uh, if you want to slow anything down, you just add frames. So where the text flies in, which is right here, I could just click here and F5, 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 and add more frames, which will make the animation go a lot slower. Now when I did that, I added extra frames here. So what I could do is highlight that and hit F5 to even it out. The other thing you could do is just drag that over, right? Now. If you wanted to, you could also add some um, easing. So on the first keyframe, go to easing, and now it'll go, uh, it'll speed up as we animate. So let's take a look. So I'll go here, hit enter, and it slows down as it goes up. So what I might do is do the opposite. Instead of 100, do negative 100. And now, all right, and that looks pretty good.
And what I might also do is, on this keyframe, select Yellowstone. No, that's good. No, I like it the way it is. Okay. Motion. I might have added a few too many, made it a little too slow, so I could drag that over to speed it up a bit. Okay, so your website should have the same elements that uh, mine has, that Richard Shoup told us to have. It should have the same elements and the same kind of animations happening, um, leading us to this point where we have a logo, a piece of paper, and the character all the same.